There's no denying that BitTensor has been making headlines over the past few months. From a yearly low of $30 back in May 2023, BitTensor has already done a 10x breaching over $300 as of December 2023, an astronomical all-time high for the cryptocurrency coin and the bull run hasn't even arrived. In this video, we're going to explore the goal of BitTensor, how does BitTensor work, how tokenomics, the team back in BitTensor and price predictions. In today's in today's modern world where AI is becoming the new frontier of technology, there is a pressing problem brewing which is yet to be addressed. Training AI models requires vast amounts of data and computing power. As a result, barriers to entry into the market are high due to significant cost pressures. This has led to a concentrated market in which large corporations and research institutions have entered the market, but AI products are still restricted and siloed. This therefore limits collaboration and hinders the compounding effects society could gain in AI development. Siloed models cannot learn from each other and third-party integrations are restricted. This is creating limited functionality and value in the AI ecosystem. BitTensor aims to create a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that incentivizes the production of machine intelligence. Through cutting-edge techniques like mixture of experts and knowledge distillation, the platform establishes a collaborative network where knowledge producers can sell their work and consumers can purchase this knowledge to enchant their own AI models. By fostering a cognitive economy, BitTensor seeks to facilitate knowledge sharing among researchers, encouraging the development of more powerful AI models. The ultimate goal is to open new frontiers in the advancement of AI by aggregating individual contributions of knowledge. As computers contribute their AI models and training to the BitTensor network, they are rewarded with the Tau token. The goal of BitTensor is not just to onboard individuals but also large corporations such as IBM, Google, Microsoft, and so on. Now the reason why big companies such as IBM, Google, Microsoft would pay Tau to use the various models inside the BitTensor network is because the centralized AI industry is highly ineffective. For instance, Google alone spends 75% of its electrical costs on machine learning only. As AI research compounds itself every year, companies will find it highly advantageous to use a large neural network which is being provided by BitTensor. In summary, you could call BitTensor the world first open AI cryptocurrency project. Now all of this sounds great in theory but how does the protocol work in the real world? BitTensor operates on a decentralized network. This means there is no single point of control or failure. Instead of having one central server that does all the work, BitTensor spreads the work across many different machines owned by many individuals, also called miners. In BitTensor, miners contribute their machine learning models to the network. These models can be thought of as workers that analyze data and provide insights. Miners are rewarded with Tau tokens for their contributions, similar how to Bitcoin miners and Bitcoin for verifying transactions. BitTensor uses a unique consensus mechanism to ensure that the network agrees on the best response. When a question is asked, multiple miners provide their answers. The network then uses its own scoring method to determine the best response from the collective input, which is then sent back to the user. Now, if you would like a more technical version, I would highly recommend visiting the BitTensor webpage which breaks down the exact mechanics in full engineering jargon. The webpage also breaks down a concept called subnets, which is vital to the running of the BitTensor network. Now, a common mistake is made categorizing BitTensor as either proof of work or proof of stake. In reality, we have a variation mechanism called proof of intelligence. Proof of intelligence is a consensus mechanism used to reward nodes that contribute valuable outputs to the network. Instead of solving complex mathematical problems, nodes are required to perform machine learning tasks to demonstrate their intelligence. The more accurate and valuable the output of a node's machine learning model, the higher the chance of being selected to add a new block to the chain and receiving rewards in the form of Tau tokens. Now how does the Tau token fit into the protocol project and vision? Well, Tau stands for Tokenized Attention Object, and it is fundamental to the running of the BitTensor protocol. Here is exactly how. Number one, incentivization. The Tau token is used to incentivize various participants in the BitTensor network. Miners who contribute their computer resources to perform machine learning tasks are rewarded with Tau tokens for their contributions. This reward mechanism encourages the provision of computer power to the network, which is essential for the decentralized machine 
online learning process. Number two, staking. To participate in the network as a miner and earn rewards, participants must stake their Tau tokens. Staking serves as a form of collateral or skin in the game, which helps to ensure that miners are motivated to act in the best interest of the network. It also helps secure the network by making it costly for any participant to act maliciously. Number three, governance. Tau tokens can be used in the governance of the BitTensor network. Token holders have the ability to propose changes, vote on protocol upgrades, or participate in other decision-making processes. This aligns with the decentralized vision of blockchain, where control is distributed among the stakeholders rather than a centralized party. Number four, access to services. Users who need machine learning services provided by the BitTensor network may pay for these services using Tau tokens. This creates a market for machine learning services where tokens can be exchanged for computer work, such as data analysis, model training, or AI predictions. In terms of tokenomics for the Tau token, the total supply of Tau is 21 million tokens, which is the same as the total supply of Bitcoin. This fixed total supply is designed to limit inflation and maintain the scarcity and value of the token over time. The distribution of Tau tokens is gradually released over time through mining rewards, staking rewards, and community-driven initiatives. Current circulating supply is circa 5.7 million, with over 80% of circulating supply being staked or delegated within the BitTensor protocol. Currently, a BitTensor block is mined about every 12 seconds, rewarding the miners and validators with one Tau per block. At the current inflation schedule, this will lead to over 7,200 new Tau tokens being issued into circulation every 24 hours. This is split evenly between miners and validators. Similar to Bitcoin, once half the supply has been issued, the rate of issuance is halved. This amounts to a halving every four years. This cycle will continue until all 21 million Tau tokens have been mined and are in circulation. Now what about the team behind the ambitious project? Well despite the project technically launching in 2021, the founding of BitTensor goes back to 2019, which is a good sign in ensuring the project isn't just another one cycle wonder. The project was founded by Jacob Robert Steves and Ala Shabana. The professional background of the two co-founders is quite limited, with Jacob displaying one year of work experience at Google and Ala seen jumping between a couple of engineering jobs and researching jobs. Not the most impressive resume behind the two co-founders. BitTensor has had some investments from four companies, Digital Currency Group, Polychain Capital, First Smart Capital, and GSR. Digital Currency Group being the most impressive with $50 billion of assets under management, which helps add a bit more credibility to the project. Given all of this, where could we see potential price action of the Tau token in the future? Whether AI is just a trend or here to stay, the whole AI buzz definitely draws similarities to to the metaverse hype we saw in 2020. Using the cryptocurrency project Sandbox as a comparable, if Tau was to recreate the run-up Sandbox had among the metaverse hype, then the Tau token could hit a price prediction of just under $1,200. This has been calculated using Sandbox's all-time high market cap of circa $6.8 billion. Given a current price of $340, that would still leave room to at least triple your money. Now there's a massive caveat to this, which is circulating and supply. This calculation assumes a fixed circulation supply at the current snapshot of circa 5.7 million tokens. Given the Tau tokenomics we just discussed, new Tau tokens are entering circulation every single day. However, the increase in circulation is likely to be immaterial over the coming months as we count down to the 2024 Bitcoin halvening and potential alt season bull run. Overall, BitTensor has a solid white paper and sits in an industry with a growing and positive sentiment. Momentum is is definitely on BitTensor's side. However, my primary reservation of the project is the vagueness around the wider team and limited experience of the co-founders. However, this is slightly eased by the investment received from Digital Currency Group. Will you be investing into BitTensor? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like.